My name is Anthony Gray, and welcome to another episode of Grayscale Painting. Today we're going to do a painting from a photograph. This photograph was um, borrowed with permission from Dan Sitzinger. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Um, who in his own right is a wonderful artist. Alright, so as you see down below, now this time this time I'm pretty much using um, craft paint all right so you look down here on the glass and I've got a dark blue with the light blue I have a uh, burnt sienna the chalk white uh, uh, medium yellow and the only thick paint is the Grumbacher red okay all right and right beside me off camera is a uh, jar of water and some vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is used to keep the paint kind of pliable and loose. It prolongs the drying time of acrylic paint. Over here on the board, I've coated, now this is a 16 by um, 18 inch board, and I've coated it with white and vegetable glycerin. Okay, if you can see it. All right, you know, it's still a little tacky. All right, so the paint will be able to move around and we can easily blend. Okay, now I've already presented what the picture looks like. I'll pop it up there again. Okay, now as you see on the uh, left hand side, you know, we've got a nice little brownish hill. Then that dark you see is um, grass. Okay, and it's got grass outlining the rest of where the horizon line would be. Okay. In the center, we got this kind of um, yellowish cast, all right, that goes way to the right of the uh, horizon line. And then obviously we have <clears throat> the different color of clouds. And if you notice the clouds, they're in a perspective like um, motion. They're, they're in a perspective like scene where if you took a ruler, you would actually get a vanishing point to those clouds if you notice the slant from the upper left to the lower right all right we got different hues and different gradations of kind of a pinkish um hue to some spots of the clouds okay so the uh the field itself has got you know the purple ish flowers going on there um at least they will be when I paint it. And then you got patches of green grass. We're going to try to aim, obviously, the water um, dividing up the darker grass and the purple. All right. So we're going to put this together as best as I can. And I'm going to show you that you can also do the very same thing. No matter what your painting level is, we're going to take it apart a piece at a time. We're going to work from the back to the front. All right. And we're going to get started right about now. All right, so let's um, build up our bright area, which will be somewhere in the center, but it will also expand toward the uh, right-hand side. Okay, and we know that it's got a little bit of um, kind of a, a yellow, almost almost like a yellow brown in there. Okay, if you want to get really technical with it, but look down here. What I am going to get, because I'm going to start with the brightest first, is I'm going to get a little bit of the white all right now this is just a regular wood shop two inch brush nothing's you know to write home to mom about and I'm gonna dip into a little bit of yellow okay and I'm gonna come over here and I'll just kind of mix it in a little bit and I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of brown and put it in there now that brown will help neutralize when you sneak in some of that green or some of that blue so it does not turn green Okay, now let's go to the center here. Now, you don't have to exactly be exact because this is the lighter color. And I'm gonna bring this right to that lower edge, just like so. Now this, as of right now, doesn't look like much, but trust me, it will be once you put on the other colors. And I'll just lightly fade it around the edges. So the paint obviously is wearing off the brush, and that's fine. Like I said, it's got a little bit of brown in it, and that's fine also. So we'll kind of 
do it like that. You want to get a little bit of white, right where the brightest area would be, we'll just liven that up a little bit, just like that. And just kind of smooth it on out there a little bit. Light touch, light touch is all you need, really. All right, something like so. Okay, believe it or not, I don't really have too much uh, paint on this brush. Okay, I'll just wipe it off on my towel. I got a beach towel down below here. Okay, let us go into our light blue. All right, I'll put it right here. A little bit of light blue. And I'm going to go into my white. Put it right in there with that light blue. Now get yourself plenty of it here. Okay, and you got to really lighten it up a bit. Brighten that color up a tad, just like that. And most of the uh, sky is going to involve this. Okay. All right. We'll start from the, the top here. Just like so. Cover that top right up. Now, as you can see, it's coming on pretty streaky, and that's fine. You just keep working at it. Keep working at that. This is going to be your base color, more or less, for your sky. And when the other parts of the sky gets added in this, okay, you really won't tell. So it kind of throws you off a little bit when you see your paints for the first, you know, first time for a few layers. And that's understandable. Okay. Just keep going at it. Keep blending it. Blend it right into that yellow. Now remember, you gotta add plenty of uh, white to it. And get some of that hair out of there. And just keep blending, as you see me doing. Try to get the mood of the painting as close as you can. And blend it into your yellow. Be careful. You don't wanna contaminate the yellow too much. You need a, that yellowish, brightish area, okay? back down here kind of liven that up a bit as you can see it's not really turning too much green because of the brown even though it's a little bit of brown but it's not really destroying everything and this is mainly your your bright sunny cast right here very open kind of color it has you know the white of the board showing through and that's actually fine okay so we're just essentially going out all of this light color lightly and keep blending there just like that very light color all right and this is basically going to be somewhat your sky okay we're going to dip back into our white put it in with the yellow a little bit mix it in there and we're just going to liven up that center part again Right up in here. That white will overtake that thin blue. Don't worry about the hairs. Get the hairs out of there. Kind of scoop it away. Wipe it off on your towel and continue on. Just like that. Okay, just like so. I remember we're going to try to keep pretty close to the photograph itself. All right, I'm getting a little bit more of this white, and we're going to kind of liven up a little bit over in here. Well, let's get a little bit more white. Just, and just brighten up some, some aspects there. Get a little bit more white. I'm just tapping into the white, that's all. And it's just bright brightening some of that sky area okay like so still want to maintain some of that yellow get some more yellow get some more white I want to strengthen up where I want it to be bright at here right up in the center right here strengthen that up that area 
you're gonna understand why in a second or two and I'm gonna drag that down here a little bit and that's all I'm doing really just getting that, that area strengthened up there and the glycerin in the paint is still making it very pliable making it move around okay Now, as you leave it alone and it starts to dry, it starts to spread. Glycerin does that. All right, so don't worry about all of that. Don't worry about the bottom here. Okay, all that down here, don't worry about that. All of that's gonna be covered and whatnot. Your important part is here, going that way. Okay, all right. Let's see, what I, can I use? I guess I'll use this fella right here. This is a three quarter inch flat. I guess I can take a little bit of this um, brown. I'm gonna take a little bit of brown here. Now, what I'm doing is just establishing more or less where the um, your highlight, your 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 horizon line is gonna be right now. Very important where you would um, put this guy. Okay, and we're gonna kind of put him. Usually, if you're a little shy about it, you use some tape. But this is the horizon line right around in here somewhere. Somewhere around in that, that area. Alright. Now, where was that hill gonna be? Well, let's uh let's have Mr. Hill right up in here somewhere. He got a little notch right there. Okay, you got a little little notchy thingy and then we're gonna kind of put them right in there like that. All right, so don't worry about all of this. Right now we're just outlining where Mr. Hill will be. We got a little piece of a, a hill, smaller fella right up in here. And then it just goes flat. Okay. Right around in there, so it's colored up in here too. All right, okay. Now remember, we're still going to give the impression of working from the front to the back. Okay, but right now, like I said, I'm just kind of shelling out where um, the uh, the horizon line is going to be, where the hills are going to be there. And remember, there's some dark green that's going to be coming in patches up around here, around in here, mix it um, in here. We're going to put a little bit of brown in that blue kind of gray that that blue out all right we're gonna dull out that color a little bit with a little bit of brown into the blue just dull it out a little still got blue in it all right okay um now the bottom part here is mainly um the purple where the grass is going to be so i'm painting in I'm just it is relatively flat just like like that Okay, and thin it out a little bit, maybe right around in here. So right here, right here is mainly, if, you know, we're gonna put the grasses up in here, but really we're just blocking in this, the water area here. Just kind of block that in with that kind of grayish blue here, right up in here. And that's all I'm doing really is just establishing and blocking in that color. I'm getting a little more of the sienna. A little touch of that blue and that sienna. Just like that. I so said I'm only using two colors. Alright, and I'm only in the blocking in stage anyway. Right in here. Block it right in. Now remember, where this blue is I'm, I'm putting here, some of that's going to be green with the grass. Okay, that darker green which I do not have on my palette because we're gonna make it. Okay, right now, like I say, I'm just blocking in where things more or less would be. Okay, just like that. Block it right in there, just like so. Don't have to be perfect, but pretty much right there. All right, so we block that in. Okay, so we got our hill. Got the little mound right here and it keeps going around in that direction all right okay let's play with the uh the clouds a little bit here um actually i might as well block this stuff in too 
um, for that. Let's go back to our flat brush here. All right, look down here at the palette. We're gonna, just gonna get a nice little base color of some sort going. We're gonna use um, this darker blue, why not? We'll put it right here. And we're gonna get a little bit of green or um, a little bit of yellow. Pop it in there like this, all right? And we're gonna deaden that color a little bit with a little bit of brown. Put that brown in there. This is just a base color. Yes, I'm taking my big brush and I'm gonna just blend it right in there. Just a the base color. All right, so, and it's right around in here. Okay, I'll just kinda do a little something like this so you guys can see it's representing that tall grass, which goes all the way across. And that's us all. Nothing, nothing is set in stone. Okay, and we're just gonna block all that in. Just block it in. Get some more of that color here. And all we're doing is blocking in color. Block it in, block it in. Another reason why I'm blocking it in and I'm doing it this way is because it gets rid of all of that white. Okay. Block it right in there. Spread that paint around, block it in. It does not have to be perfect because we're just blocking in color. Follow me. So you're just kind of laying the groundwork. As you see the glycerin moves this paint around. All right, and as you see, if you notice, when I leave it alone, it, the, the paint starts to spread. Okay, now the hairs on this brush, as you can see, it kind of, you press too hard, it scratches. All right, that's because of the hairs themselves, the bristles themselves are a little coarse. So, but like I said, I'm not really looking for anything perfect. I'm just blocking things in right now. We're not even nowhere near the detailing stage on this. We're just, once again, blocking in color. But now you see the colors in relation to each other. All right, so that's not as brownish as it used to be. Okay, um, I think the grass kind of compensates for that. And now you see that this sky is extremely light. All right, the sky. Let's get somewhat of a smaller brush. Oh, I think I'll use a filbert. And we're gonna start sketching out clouds. Now these clouds are a little different than what you accustomedly see me um, do. All right, now we're gonna bring that picture back up. It, it'll probably be somewhere around in here. But if you notice the, the picture here, okay, the clouds are going in a certain direction over there toward that corner. Okay, the lower right hand corner. But if you could, if you notice, they're in a perspective-like um, formation. Okay, it's the way the photographer had taken the picture. All right. Now, as you're looking at it, look at the patches of the darker blue. Okay, and where they're in, where they are in position to that hill. Okay. Right now, I'm focused on the large mass areas, which goes from the upper left in a perspective motion, okay, down in a slant past the middle of the page, and it comes to a nice thin line, a little bit where that mound is, and it's going right across, okay. Now, this painting obviously won't be exact, but it's going to be as close as possible because I like the way the composition is for the painting, so we're gonna try to emulate that as best we can. Okay, all right. Um, the, uh, the painting, the picture has been faded out of the screen there. Okay, all right. So let's get ourselves a nice little mixture of uh, blue, 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 gray, or whatever. All right, we're gonna um, first start off with the darker blue. I'll put it right here and some brown okay and I want it a little more on the blue side we're gonna start to kind of sketch out where a little bit of white just like that okay see now we're starting to get close to the that color there all right now this is just the color to outline the stuff all right so if it's a little lighter that's fine okay well trust me it's perfectly fine so we'll use this, just the dark blue, the sienna, and a little bit of white. Okay, so 
Let's start from O. Well, actually, let me do this. Let me get that, that straight horizon line type of feel going right about, um, right about in here. I want it kind of right around in here. It gets a little straight right in here like that. Okay. So I need that. All right. Now, the way my camera is positioned, okay. This is where this perspective thing comes into play. Let's take a little piece of tape. <clears throat> let's put, uh, let's put that tape right about here. Okay, right there. Let's take a marker. Let's pop a dot. Oh, where you guys can see it, eh, right around here. Yeah, you should be able to see that dot there. Okay, I'm going to more or less eyeball that spot. Why am I putting that spot right there? Because of the direction of the clouds, okay? Especially from out here in this way, they need somewhere to go to maintain that perspective. You understand? Okay, that's why. Now, I'm going to build my <clears throat> clouds from pretty much that perspective um, point. Let's get the big bulky ones first, and then we'll worry about the uh, smaller ones. The big bulky one, okay, I'm gonna start from, right from here, I'm gonna just eyeball it right around in here, and we're just gonna kinda play with him up around there, just before he gets to that mound, he kinda curves in, and he's kinda this way, and we got like, a little scoop thing there like that and we got the little scoop scoop is here then we got a little bit of because a little bit of that that sky is going to be coming through and we're going to kind of like i said i'm just loosely outlining all of this fun stuff here all right now that's one of the bulky parts of the cloud we got another one let's get some more of this it can get com uh, to be confusing and if it is then you just kind of fill it in like this here fill it in a little bit that's one right here. Okay, a little hook right there. Then we got another one right around in here. And I'm just filling it in loosely. This paint's gonna remain wet for a while. So it's, it's in here. I'll kind of um, smooth all this out a little bit later. So we'll bulk that in right up around in here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. Just paint and move around and everything, just like that. Okay, all right. Let's get a little more dark blue. Put it right in here, look down here. I'm just getting some more of that color. A little bit of that brown, just a little touch of that brown, grayed up a little bit. Okay, just like that. Get a little bit of white. Pop that white in there. There we go. Yeah, see how easy you can bring that color back? Very few colors. Okay, no glycerin or anything added to it. There's glycerin on the on the board there. All right. Okay, so we got that little batch there. Now in this little gap in here, all right, we got a little little something kind of playing around in there. It's kind of rounded like that. Okay. And then it comes up like here, comes down. All right. I'm a that little bottom bowl here. Kind of flush that out there like that. Then we're gonna come around. Now remember where that, that line is. That's what we're concentrating on. Now this fella here comes out, it's got a little peak here, comes out around, got another one here, and we're just gonna kind of float it around in here. I know we're down by that line, but that's okay. That's another cloud formation there. That's where the, the thinner clouds are. Okay, right from this little mound right here, and I'll just keep playing, it comes close to this little fellow here, that little hook there, and we're going to kind of put it up in here. Now you're going to have different um, variations of clouds in these, and you'll, you'll see as I do these. And remember, you, you got highlights and stuff even in these clouds, but we're going to work on that as we get these um, done here. Right now, I'm just bulking in the colors 
of the clouds. I know you guys can hear that little kitten mewing. It's not my cat. My cat's kind of old. I'm watching the TV or the TV's just nice background um, noise for me. All right, I gotta have the background. I can't have it too quiet. It just drives me crazy. You gotta have a little something going on. All right, much like that. Remember to keep that that's that in there. All right. Okay, we're going back into that color. We're gonna have fun doing all those different values and everything with all this blue gray. All right. Now we got that little hook here. We're gonna. This is the bigger one, right up in here. We're gonna curve it, curve it like this. Come on down around in here. Um, I'm looking because I got to get where the darker colors are going to be. We're going to give it a little something here and we'll bow it around like that. That's a big bulky cloud. Now there's clouds and stuff all in between here or right, different different colors. This is where that, that light pinkish stuff starts to happen there. Okay, and I'm going to bulk in, block in all of this. This is where it gets kind of um, darkened. You know, but you'll, you'll see as I move on here. I don't necessarily need to use such a, a thin brush for all this area. And here's so all I'll be moving to a bigger brush a little bit later on, but I can just kind of tap it all in just like this. This smaller brush is actually going to help me with the values and um, moving the different values of color around and, and all of that. So all this nice unevenness is, is fine. I'm getting a little bit more of that color because we're going to be using a lot of this color. A little bit of brown, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. A little more white there. I'll just kind of keep it uniform color. All right. Then we'll start kind of bulking in things. When I, I call it bulking, uh, it's blocking in. Just like that. Just block it all in there. Okay. Doesn't look like clouds yet, but it will. Just like so. Uh, we're not done yet though get some more paint remember where your your highlight your 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 um your line is here we'll start moving on to some of the lighter clouds okay we got one oh right coming around here i'm looking at it as i'm doing it just like this and he's kind of bulked that there like this it comes out and going in that direction okay and we'll block him in real quick. No matter. Block him right in there. See that? Just block it in. Don't even worry about all of this. Okay. Paint's still relatively wet. We'll smooth all of that out. Now, from that, we got a fellow. I'm going to just use a side of the brush here. Just like this. Kind of flatten in some colors here. And it comes out like this. But it's still going in that downward direction, just like that. Make it a little, little um, what I'm trying to say, a little wider. And up around here, we're getting toward that line right up in here. See that nice line? We're going to keep that line, though. Because all of this is really dark in here. I'm going to get a little bit of blue, a little bit of brown. A little bit more blue. I still want it on the blue side. A slight touch of white, just a slight touch. This is a darker hue of that color. Okay, and we're just gonna kinda darken them a little bit right up in here. All up in here. You may give it a little little bit of body here. Just like that. Because he's further away. And you'll see as we start fleshing out things. Actually, these guys are a little further away, so we're going to kind of bulk him out a little bit. Just like that, kind of shape him. Just like so. Uh, underneath this fellow is a little darker, too. We're going to get to that a little bit later. Right now, I can, I can fill some of that in. It's okay. It is okay. All right. I think I've gotten pretty much somewhat what I wanted up in here. A little bit in here. Go horizontal. And we're gonna kinda tap them in there in that in that area here and get a couple smaller ones in there like that. Just like that. Okay, alright. And 
we're just keeping that that line up in there I know it looks a little crazy it does I must admit it looks a little disheveled <laughs> to say the least but that's okay it will all work out in the end let's get a small um essentially some makeup brush little tiny guy I'll just show you, show you to you right here one of these all right and what I'm gonna do is lightly because this is a very thin light brush I'm building some values and I'm getting rid of the streak marks I can press a little harder now this glycerin is starting to tack up a little bit so you get to kind of give it a nice strong press here okay kind of smooth out some of the streaks there just like that just smooth it out if you go a little bit past the lines it's fine okay because you know um, the clouds kind of got that fluffiness to them so sorry you can kind of marry some of that dark and light areas in here in here I know you're gonna see most of my arm but same thing I'm just pressing into the canvas a little bit just stirring it that, that paint around almost again just, I'm just getting rid of the I'm going in a circular motion I'm just getting rid of a lot of those streak marks there I don't need all the streak marks the values yes streak marks no up in here kind of just like I say just smooth it out a little bit okay something like so all right now you guys can start to see how things are starting to build up here all right and we're gonna still maintain that perspective when we start really putting in all those interesting colors and whatnot and we're gonna start building up colors um right now all right be honest with you okay let's uh play around with a little bit more i'm gonna use this same brush a little more blue into that gray mix area okay just get a little more a little more blue a slight touch of white in there just like that okay okay we'll start filling out some things here okay right up in here we'll start kind of bulking it in there we'll start playing now this is going to be married into that dark yes right just like that okay just like that it mixes right in with that dark it's all right let it blend naturally okay now don't worry about it appearing too dark we still you need the dark to accentuate the light okay you follow me so we're gonna get our brushes are gonna get smaller we get more and more detail but right now it's just a secondary color of filling in some of these dark patches okay getting some more some more of that color and we're gonna come all in here kind of tap it in there and we'll st stir it around like that okay I'm doing this just to show you that one it can be done I'm gonna take some of this color because there's not much glow in here in this part but I'm just taking that color I'm just going in circles okay uh we can work some of this magic over here on the other side not all of them um is this dark okay not not all of them we come right up in here okay and we'll just kind of stir in some of that nice color up in here like this okay and the secret really is not have any excessively large um, lines showing no no tight lines okay anything of that nature I'm just kind of lighten some of that up here okay I'm just gonna fade out some of that some of that line color there just fade it right out because these are clouds they're nice and wispy and, and whatnot so I'm just getting rid of some of them hard lines there I can take a smaller brush and do it but this is fine I'm just getting rid of the hard edge that's all see just fade out that hard edge it looks more natural fade it right out there see get rid of that hard edge just keep 
keep twirling around. It's the glycerin that helps make, make a lot of this happen. Okay. There we go. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's uh, clean off this brush. The more we start getting into it, um, the more uh, um, finer details, you, you use a smaller brush and all that good stuff. Let's take, I'm gonna use this same brush right now, but we're going into our, our kind of a lighter color, our lighter blue here. All right, and a little bit of white in that lighter blue. I'm gonna use a little touch of this darker blue to put in there, just to shift the color a wee bit. Okay. And I'm gonna take a little bit of brown, believe it or not, put it right there, gray it out a little, just to dull it, just a, a tad. Okay, and right up in here, all up in here, we're gonna kinda stir it around, because a lot of this, this kind of color is in this cloud. And don't worry about getting different values in there. Don't worry about street marks. This is a very soft brush. I'm just using a makeup brush you would get at Walmart. That's all. Okay. So don't panic. Start varying your hand your hand pressure. Okay. Just like that. Just vary that hand pressure a little bit. It's you know got this quote unquote darker color up toward the corners there. And you got a little bit of that floating around in here too, believe it or not. And just stir it around, just like that. Okay, pretty gentle mix. And as you're doing it, you're just gently, you're releasing some of that hand pressure and just gently fading it in. Okay, it's like so. <laughs> My dog all of a sudden wants to sneeze during the recording. You gotta love them. Right up in here. Get some of that color going all up in here. And it's just me pressing and then releasing the pressure. And you just blend it in softly. Just softly blend it in. Larger circles, smaller circles, it's all right. Okay. Starting to look a little more cloud-like, yes. You do it in stages. You do it in layers. All right, there's a little bit of that right in here. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of lightly, very lightly, we're just gonna spread those colors out a little bit. That's all. Now I'm gonna wipe some of that off my brush. I don't need that much of that paint. And we're just gonna kind of blend, softly blend. You blend until you get the type of uh, fading that you're looking for that works for you. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Fade it right in there. Okay. Let's uh, rinse this off. I'm going for yet even a smaller makeup brush because we get more and more to finer details and all of that good stuff. So. I'm just wiping off the brush right now. Okay. And bear with me one second. I got to There we go. We got an even smaller brush. So we're getting into tighter um, formation here. A little tighter. Just getting a little bit of that color. For the smaller guys, these guys right here, I'm just tapping it in, just like this. Just like that. And we're gonna build our light areas off from this. And then once again, just like everything else. Now remember the glycerin is starting to dry, okay, which is a good thing. You can really fine tune all of this. Not necessarily um, too hard of an edge, you can start to kind of fade out those edges a little bit, just like that. Fade them right on out. A 
Some you can keep, some you don't have to. What I'm saying is the hard edge. Right now you're just starting to work work in. Just like that. Work somebody in there. Just like so. Put a little couple bits of color in there like that. Get out of there. Just like that. It's a little little bits of color. I don't really need too much of that in here. Okay. Just like that. As I'm looking at it here, I can start to get rid of some of those hard lines in there. I can fade them out like that. See with the smaller <clears throat> the smaller brush. <clears throat> smaller brush you can really work out those harsh lines. The shape is still there. It's just uh, you know you got you got really soft lines to kind of deal with here. See the glycerin? A little more tacky. You can kind of really control it. See, I don't really want a lot of them hard lines. You make those those hard lines disappear now. And they become more cloud-like. Okay, you still maintain the shape. The only hard line really you'll see is here. Okay, but can you see how everything's starting to kind of fill itself out here? Okay. And remember, we still got the lighter color yet. That will really, really fill this out. Okay. Uh, we can give it a little softness here. Not too much. You can vary how soft, how blurred in you want this stuff. Like I said, there's going to be bits of pinky yellow stuff all up in here also. Okay. All right. Which will, in turn, make this appear even darker get rid of the hair all right okay so we got some of this you know put in here already okay we're gonna start putting some of that nice pinky purpley stuff floating around in here okay so I'm gonna start smoothing out some areas all right but I like the hues I like the stuff that's being produced with it and you know when you're doing stuff like this these clouds if clouds are your thing you can really spend a lot of time my time's kind of constrained but you can spend a lot of time um, doing this really getting into it and just having a ball with it okay now with acrylic paint I do work with uh, acrylic clean that brush often the worst thing you have is having your acrylic paint get hard on the bristles all right, usually some soft water, uh, some warm water and some soap will get rid of it. But once they start getting into the furrows, you're asking, getting into the furrows, you're asking for a lot of trouble. Okay, all right. Let's work with a little bit of red. We're going to probably still use this um, brush. We're going to use a brush that can um, give me nice airy um, cloud patterns. Okay. Uh, I will probably use a, uh, you know what, let's, let's use this guy. This is a number, number eight. All right, um, I don't even think of a silver, and probably a bright brush or something like that. We use one of these guys here. All right, see the rounded edge there? Not really a filbert, <clears throat> not exactly a flat. We're we gonna use this guy. Let's get a look, look down here, important. We're going to get a little bit, a small touch of red. We're going to put the red right here. Okay. And we're going to get a lot of yellow. Put that yellow in there. All right. And we're going to pick out a nice hue. Now we're going to get some of that white. Okay. Because you're going to need a nice grouping of a kind of a um, orangey pinky color. Okay. Now that's a little more a little more on the orange side okay I'm gonna add yeah, let's try this first just a small touch of blue in there I'm just looking at it here that just almost might work a little touch of blue in that 
There. I think that might work. Okay, it's got a little bit of all three colors in it, but that might work. That might work right in there. Okay. No paint or no no glycerin or anything like that. We're gonna start to kind of press some wispiness in there. Just like that. All up in here. And we're gonna put it on the edge, edges, just like that. Just like this. Okay. And it's, trust me, it's, it's pretty much almost all over the place. Up in here. Now if I feel I need some more, I'll get some more. Up in here. And we'll start brightening. Certain, and we'll start wisping the edges a little bit. Just like that. Just kind of make it real airy. Marry it right into that darker color. Just like so. Put it right in there. Now even at this stage, it's still kind of a rough stage. We'll start lightening things up and getting it a little more opaque. But right now, just for right now, blocking it in. Even this light airy stuff, we'll block it in. Um, it's up here on the bottom, just like that. We're kind of, don't get no um, hard lines in there. Just like that, we'll bring some of that down up in here. There's some here, okay. And I'm still maintaining that perspective, okay. Like that, we'll stir it up in there like this. And we're gonna get it even brighter and uh, as we move along. But right now, I'm just getting the outlying parts of this fellow, just like that, because that's where that sun glow is, is happening right up in there. Okay, so some of this stuff you see me do. Let me say we marry it right into that gray. See, marry it right into that gray. Just like that, scumble. That's actually a word, guys. With scumbling colors. All up in here. Some of this you're gonna have to have a pretty gentle hand, all right? I'm going into my reddish color, yellow. Get a little bit more white, pop it in there, kind of brighten it up and, and dull it down at the same time because we got some kind of up in here okay I'm gonna use the side of my brush and I'm gonna aim some downward like this and we're gonna kind of put some up in there like that now I'm gonna start outlining some things down in here in lines It is more horizontal than anything else. Like that. Don't need too many of it um, down in here. And we're going to get some brighter colors to start outlining certain uh, bits of the clouds formations there. And keep it horizontal. That actually adds to your perspective. Okay. Believe it or not. Right down here on the bottom. Keep the perspective lines there. We got a little bit right up in here. I'm gonna trail him out a little bit, a little bit of that light color. Okay. Um, underneath here, got a little bit of that in here. Marry that color into that dark grayish. Okay. We're gonna start smoothing out a lot of these, don't worry about it. We're gonna bring our soft brush back into play. <coughs> now the glycerin is a little tacky. Remember to clean off your brush extremely well. Okay. We're going to go back into our, our small blender. And we're going to smooth out some stuff here. Definitely smooth out some of the rougher lines. We're going to add brighter colors to these fellas. And start outlining and get more and more detailed with our clouds. But right now I'm just smoothing out some areas here that might need uh, smoothing out. Okay. 
That's all. When it comes to marrying the dark colors into these light colors here, this is why I'm using such a small brush, small blender. You don't want a perfect blend. Won't be necessary. Just where the sunlight's hitting and rolling around, having a little fun. You'll be doing a lot of uh, dry brushing, probably from this stage, when it comes to highlighting and all of that fun stuff. But you see stuff starting to kind of build up here. Now, it's a little bit more on the orange side, so we're going to get some um, purple pink happening within all of this. Okay. So I'm going to need some more blue. All right. As I'm looking at it, I'm checking it out here and there. I'm going to throw in some of this, um, get a nice little mix of um, a pink purple type of mix. I'm going into our blue, we'll put it right here. Go a little bit into the red. It's going to be probably a little more on the red side. Okay, right now it's a little more on the blue side. You just add more red, just like that. We're going to our white. See this? See that color? See that? a little bit of that purple going now we just add a little more red to that purple okay now that I've got that mix happening okay I'm gonna add just a slight touch of white kind of brighten it up a little bit you can see the difference in the color between the uh, that's why I did there. all right let's take some of that color and we're gonna start to come I'm gonna tap some of that in right up in here now, as I'm tapping, I'm just tapping it in on the outside edges in here. Okay, all up in here a little bit. And maybe a little bit of that color up in there. Okay, and we're going to do a lot of it on the rim, on the edges here. Okay, and we're going to blend all of this in there. Just like that, kind of. As long as I got some of this um, in here like this, on the, on the soft brush, I can kind of like... Um, play around now I can start blending just like that blend it up in there and we're gonna get our brightness from this purplish mix okay and things will start to really wake up here okay now with highlights the brighter the highlight the less of it you need okay I don't want to get rid of all of that yellow that's in there we're going to get some nice mixes of and blends of some of that purple working in there. Just be mindful of your hand pressure. Okay, especially with a smaller brush. You got uh, something you might have a knack of kind of overdoing it a little bit. Just be careful. Do it in, in pieces. Okay. There we go. Put it right up in there, stir them around. You'll be able to see where you've put your kind of purplish colors in there. And you just marry it into the, in the previous color, that's all. It's like so. Real soft like, okay. And you'll, you'll pretty much can see where, um, if you keep looking, going, referring to the picture again, You'll see where some of this needs to be, okay. Especially when it gets to um, the uh, the brighter highlights, which is going to add some of this, this this color to it, okay. Just like that, soften it right up a bit. All up in here, it's going to have a cast of that color, and all I'm doing really is, is scumbling off the color that's on the brush, and I'm going in circles, move it around. Okay. Some of it is subtle, some of it's not. Okay, I'm just moving my brush around, getting some rubbing some of that color on it. So it's a mixture of both of the colors in there. You, you kind of see how everything's being built up here. All right. Very soft brush. And once again, <clears throat> I'm just adding in some of this color in various spots in the painting. Okay, and usually where a lot of this yellowish cast is is where it's coming through, 
coming from. Okay. But you never would think you spend so much time doing clouds. But like I say, if clouds are your thing, this will be absolutely no problem for you. You can build and build as much detail, as much of the glow as you feel you need um, in something like this. Now, as I'm coming over here on this side, it's not <clears throat> much of this color. Okay. But you gonna blend it in very, very nice, as nice as you can. Have it flow as good as you can. Okay. I don't have to add too much to it. Yes, I still got a, um, the purple on this brush. That's how I'm able to kind of get away with doing what I'm doing. I'm going to get a little bit of a slight, tiny, tiny, extremely tiny bit of water just to loosen up this paint. Now, be careful with the water because it does turn into like a glazish wash. Okay. Just like that. I'm really just brushing on some of this color over here on the sides here. Now, be careful using the water because it will tend to um, wear away your paint if it's still got that glycerin on it. Because glycerin cuts through this. Uh, water cuts through glycerin like a hot knife. You better be very careful if you're planning on going this route. Well, this is where your hand pressure can be detrimental. Okay. So definitely, I'm taking the three hairs and some air approach with this. A bigger brush would have sufficed probably. Constant stirring around of the color in that in that <clears throat> in that area. Okay. Not too much uh, blue, believe it or not. All right, as I'm looking at things, okay, I'm really not too much uh, um, blue. There's some, you know, there's a little bit of blue here. So I pretty much got all of that straight. Okay, the rest of it will be just highlights after this. I'm just doing a little bit more fine detailing, just highlighting these clouds. All right, but you kind of see where everything's going here. Okay, and believe it or not, I'll be smoothing. I'll, I'll be smoothing some of these out a little bit better too. But that will come with a bigger round brush. I'll blend all this together to just melt right into each other there. So I'm just wearing away some of that paint, blending it a little bit better. That's all. Like I said, you can really spend a lot of time doing this. A lot. Okay. I think we're good with all of that. I'm going to take a larger circle um, saucer brush. <coughs> I'll use this fella. Okay. Another makeup brush. And what I'm going to do with this fella, because the paint, believe it or not, is still tacky, but I am going to overall add a little pressure and blend all of that in as soft as I can. Soft as I can. Large circular motions just kind of soften everything. Okay. Just smooth out everything a little bit. <clears throat> Be careful not to stay in one spot doing this because you can definitely <laughs> wear this paint down De depending on how um, dry the glycerin is. It's pretty tacky, okay, which is why I'm going through the yellow and the blues and it's not really um, smearing into those colors. All right, but I just want to kind of soften everything a little bit. All right, like I say, it's, it's fairly, fairly tacky now. Okay, let us now get a, I think I'll work with a 
I still I think I'll work with the flat brush. It's okay. Let's put this this guy back. I don't need him. I just need a f nice flat brush. Let's start putting in some bright stuff in here. I kind of like the the uh, what I had before with this pink. Let's see if I still got some here. Yes, I do. Look down here. I'm just mixing the white into this pinky. Ready to go on to the other parts here. I'll get a nice little trail of little trail of black or white in there. How do I get gather black out of all of this? Where's my mind at? Let's get a nice little line of uh, that yellow in there. I think it's breaking through. It's like that. There. Okay. All right, I'll leave it be now. I won't touch the claws anymore. I think I'm gonna leave most the way it is. Really, it's, this is my interpretation more or less of what's going on with this, um, the clouds here. Like you say, this is a time limit thing, so I don't wanna make it too long. But you can kinda see how they're flowing Oh, you, you can't see it because <laughs> I pushed in a little bit where that, but they're flowing toward that dot. All right. <clears throat> okay. I'm not going to remove any of this color. I'm going into my dark blue. Watch me here. Oh, actually, I shouldn't. Well, yeah, I'll do it that way. I'll just get a little bit of brown. I'm going to add some of that blue into that brown a little bit there. Darken it up a little bit. Uh, this is good. Now, uh, I'm going to lighten that up a little bit. Gray it out a little bit. Don't worry. I'll return it. I'll return it. I just added a little bit of red in there. There. There we go. All right. That should work, more or less. I need something like this to um, kind of um, establish the uh, hill here. And it will also help in showing off that brightness of the sky. I'll be lightening this color up a little bit. But right now I'm gonna establish something strong here. And I'm gonna get a little peak of something right there and just kind of play with it right along there like that. Just like that. <clears throat> more paint than anything else. Now I'm going to brown this out a little bit more maybe. Maybe. Um, I probably will. But right now I'm just bulking all this color out. We're going to put a little bit of texture on here because it's not miles away. So you'll, you'll get to see a little bit of detail working in this. All right. So that's basically all I'm doing. I'm just playing around with a little bit of this dark color. Just blocking it in. I'm going to use the same brush. And we're going to build some texture off of this. Yep. Okay. This is good enough. More this this is no glycerin or anything like that, no water. It's pure paint. Okay. Okay. Let's get into our brown. I'm gonna go right into this grayish area here. A little brown, but get a little bit of yellow in there. This slight touch of, of uh white. Lighten it up a little bit. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. We'll throw some texture in there. I'm using the side of the brush here. And I'm just going to like, throw some of that brown in there. Some side texture right in there. Just like that. Just throw that texture. Don't worry. I'm going to brighten it up some more. Right now, I'm just going to brown it up a little bit. Be careful of that edge. I'm not really worried below the uh, hill here.
Yeah, all of this I'm not worried about. It's going to be covered by grass, a grassy field there. All right. All right, let's take a little bit of yellow. Uh, let's put it over here. Now I got brown on my brush already. I'm going to get a little bit of, of white. Just like that. Now I'll dip into that brown a little bit, lighten it up a little. See this? See how that happens? And you you notice I'm concentrating really on the side of the brush. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's take the side of the brush. Light, 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 light. And we'll start to get some, get some. See how you get to lighten it up a little bit? See that? Don't necessarily get rid of all of your dark. But that's adding a little bit of, of texture on this guy. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit there. I can exaggerate it a little bit more. A little bit of white. Okay. Just like that, just a little bit here and there. See this? So it's just my interpretation of um, the hill and everything side of the brush okay we're gonna move on to the other one soon okay there a little bit of that going on there keep it fairly strong like so we got that little mound back there I didn't forget about that little mound over there. Yeah, so I can say it's a little further away. So we're gonna this one gets joined a little bit like that, and we're gonna, we're gonna get that mound going there like like so. And this one's a little further away back there. All right, come on, get that in there like that. All right, and we're gonna I'm just pressing a little bit get that little steady dark right there. okay, just like that. I'm gonna keep it a little bit neater there here not so much. okay. Whew. All right. As I'm looking at things, I'm checking it out here. All right. You guys can pretty much see what I'm doing here. So that's cool. Because the edges are right here. So you guys are okay. All right. Let's get to some uh, greenness. Gee, I, I ran out of yellow again. Well, that's sad. Hold on. <clears throat> We're going to get some yellow. Like I said, I would rather run out of paint than having to waste the paint. I'm gonna put it right in here. Get a little bit of blue in there. Okay, now we got a nice bright green, almost fluorescent, but I don't want it that light. So we're gonna get a little dark blue in there. We're gonna deepen that. I was thinking I'm putting some brown in there, but um, that might not be necessary. Uh, I'll put it in anyway. Get a little deeper brown. Okay. There. That might work. And here we go. Now this is going to involve not really too much texture, but you know, just enough. Okay. We're going to make, um, right where this mound is, we're going to kind of make a little jetty thing come out right up in here. Um, right in here. Have it come out like that. And then I'll just kind of flesh everything right up in here right up in here it's such a darker color so don't worry about that I'm really concerned about more or less right where, where the mountain is here just like that it kind of stays pretty level there okay just like so right up in there okay I don't know 
know what that was all about, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna need to look and see. Someone's trying to contact me. But right now, I'm onto this. It's a little darker green right around in here. Make it look far away. Because right now, it's just a rep representation of the grass in the field. It's, it's a quite a ways away, so. Just like that. All right, okay. I'm not too worried about the uh, water part here because we can just tighten that up. That I'm not worried about. This I'm not worried about. All right, as long as it's pretty much this steady deep color right around in here, it's okay. Just like so, because the water, we're going back over the water, so that doesn't phase me. Just like that. Just like so. Okay, I'm not worried about that down there. All right, so we pretty much established what we have happening <clears throat> with the uh, the water here. Not really too much detail over there, but we can we can add some. Um, let's get a bit of white, the top of the brush. I don't want it to be glaring. Okay, and a very light touch, very light. And I'll just give it a nice little tap here and there. Just like that. I'm gonna get a little bit of white, brighten it up a little bit. Went to this weird gray brown color I got. And I'm just establishing that there are some tops to these fellas back here. Just like that, and we're gonna need to get a little line established here. That. just around in there not necessarily where the uh, believe it or not where the brightest part of the uh, the sunlight is over there but we can just establish some something going on back there like that don't necessarily like I say need uh, any super detail or anything over there but just establish that there's something happening there all right okay All right, let's get into this uh, this blue. We're gonna go into our darker blue, just like that. Um, I'm gonna get, put some brown in that blue, just like that. I know, that's weird for a blue, I know. A little bit of white. And you ready for this? I remember this stuff uh, darken up on you. Okay. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Nice strong edge here. Right, we're gonna get this grass going here. Give it a nice, nice strong edge here. Right in here. We're gonna. Like I can say a lot of this can be covered up with this dark blue. All right. And we're gonna tighten that right up, just like that. So don't worry. All this gets tightened up right all, all in here. All right, I'm getting some more blue. Let's get plenty of it. Get a little bit of brown in there. All paint, no, no um, glycerin, no um, extender or anything. Okay. And we're gonna start to kinda glue it up here. All paint, all paint. We're gonna pop little bits of shine in this. Okay, now the rest of the painting is not gonna go as uh, as time consuming as the uh, clouds. And I'm just kinda smoothing out this water a little bit. That's all. We're gonna bring that up around in here a little bit. Just like that, bring it down. Bring some of that down. There. Bring it right down. Bring it down. All right. Just like that. And we're going to kind of spread that out a little bit. All of it here. 
don't worry about the uh, the foreground. The foreground gets tightened up later. Don't worry about that. Right now, it's all about that water. Just like that, smooth it out. Smooth it out. All right. Okay. All right. Let's start playing with the little. Well, we'll let it tack up a little bit. We'll worry about that a little bit later. Okay. Let's go into our brown. A little bit of blue. All right. A little dark. There's a reason why I'm getting a little bit of blue, a little bit of brown. We'll start making that foreground, and we're gonna put stuff on top of that foreground. Okay, the purples and, and whatnot. All right, right up here on the top here, kind of, we're, once again, we're doing that blocking in thing. All right. Oh, come on, right up in here. We're gonna, it's relatively flat actually, but all I'm doing is blocking in darker color right in here. Okay, don't worry about, see how you can just brush it and it becomes lighter. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Of course not, because I'm an idiot. There, we'll keep it right there because we're not doing anything up above what I'm, what I'm doing right now. Right up in here. I'm just using a three quarter inch brush and I'm just um, back and forth. Okay. Just like that, you know, putting it in there. Just like that. Actually, I don't have to bring it all the way down because of this grass there. Just like that, slightly faded out there. It's okay. Oh, lightly faded out here too. It's, it's all right. Just like that, and we're gonna do what we gotta do with that. All right. Okay, we're we're nearing the. Uh, we're at the 70%, maybe 80% mark on this painting. It's probably 80%. Like I say, the rest of the painting will not be as involved as those clouds. All right. I think we played around with this enough. Let's go back to our water. Our water got a little bit of a reflective shine to it. It's not really rushing water or anything like that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit more of this green. Let's flesh up. Uh, let's darken up a little bit of that that green in the back back there. Um, taking some green and some of this dark mix that I use for the foreground. Flat brush, same brush. It's all right, same brush. And we're just gonna kind of yeah darken that up a little bit. There's a reason. It's almost backlit this patch of grass. Can you guys see this? Yes, you can. You guys can see it quite well, actually. But look. All right. Just look. There you go. Just patting it in there. I know I got, I um, highlighted some, some spots in there. So we'll leave some of those there. But down here toward the bottom, let's make that a little, little solid there. Ready? bottom here you gotta have a distinction just like so all right okay and I can use some of this deep color for this guy in the back back here yep I'm not in the way so right here nice little dark line established right in here Just like that. Just like that. Just establishing something back there. Okay. Okay. Let's go with a little bit of highlight here. I'm gonna take some white. Actually, I got some here. I'm gonna just take a little bit of white tiniest spot of yellow in that white tiniest touch of red I mean extremely tiny okay if 
if I were you, I would make plenty of it and then you take off take off what you don't need. Okay. And we're just going to lightly, lightly, okay, we're gonna just rub across. Lightly. Just lightly. Hopefully a lot of this comes off. It doesn't seem to, so I'm gonna get some thicker paint. Just more white. It's being contaminated with the red and the uh the red and the yellow. Okay. Once again, we're gonna go across. All right, it's, this is gonna represent like little ripples of waves and, and whatnot, but just around in, in this area in here. I just want some of this paint to kind of come off in little areas there. And you can brush it from left to right. Okay, left to right. It's going to, I'm just getting some more white and you know, some of this color. That's left to right, left to right. You see how it's layering on top? And we're gonna go, we're gonna go brighter with it. Only in, in certain certain spots. But I'm layering left to right. And you see how it's smooth and it's it's kind of blendy in there. We're gonna build off of that. Now remember, some of that blue is coming off on the brush, and it's okay. It's fine. I'm gonna go a little thicker with my yellow with my white now I can get away with what I'm about to do because of the blending and the glycerin or it's not glycerin yeah it is glycerin I think there's a little glycerin on this still but the paint's a little thick on the side of the brush all right and we're gonna build on top of that okay just a little bit more right in here side of the brush side of the brush just like that. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going at it. The white is gonna prevent it from being overly green. Okay. But I'm gonna still build. And remember, left to right, left to right, like so. And I don't have to add it particularly all over the place. But as you can see, I'm just adding, and I'm keeping it left to right. Even if it's blotchy, go blotchy from left to right. All right, trust me, it will help you out more than hinder. Okay, believe me. I'm just wiping off my brush, getting more of the color. I'm dipping in actually into more white. It's being contaminated with the yellow and the red. All right, we got a little bit of that, that, that sun glow right in this area in here. Just like that. So we got a little bit of that going on in this area here. Okay. Just like that. And remember, left or right, no matter how bright you end up getting it, left or right. Okay. Left or right. Getting some more white. And put, I'm contaminating the white in the color I previously have. So it's not truly white. Still being tinted with the previous color. You go back over this again, put it right in there. Okay, getting some more. And remember, left to right, formation of left to right. You see how it's, the brightness is being built up each time you do this? Okay, more white. That chalk white really, really kind of holds it together. Just like that there. Leave some of those bright specks in there. As long as you got it going from left to right, you're good to go, okay? Very important, very important. Some more little specks, put them right in there like that. But keep it left to right. Just like so. I clean off the brush because there's still blue in there. We're at the home stretch, trust me. Some more white, yellow. Now I can also take a palette knife and do the very same thing, but I kind of don't want the palette knife look right now. Um, let's get a little bit of white, pure white, and we're gonna pop it in there like this, cause I kind of want the specks in there, just like that. 
and very lightly left to right just like that the white is being um, destroyed by the other bits of green and, and blue but I'm still keeping it left to right that's all left to right just like that A little more, a little more right in the center. Got to really kind of concentrate on that center. Just in there like that. And I'm just building up color. There. Okay. And remember we got some of that stuff kind of floating around out here. Just like that. Let it break up. But it's breaking up in the direction of left or right. Like so. Do I have to add too much more past this? Yeah, okay, let's get a little brightness there. Much past that line. Right up around here, get a little, a little edge, that's not enough. Let's get a little bit of white there. Right past, right past that guy, right past here. Get some bright, there we go, a little bit of brightness going, just like that. Not going too much further past that, okay. I could have easily used a palette knife to get the effect done, but like I say, it's not really too turbulent, too rough. Okay. All right. I think I can pretty much leave the rest of that alone. Just work here in the the quote unquote fields. Let's go with a little bit of that green to get some more yellow popping into that green. Get a little bit of white, kind of accentuate that yellow side of the brush once more. So this grass has got a little bit of graininess to it. A little patchy stuff happening. Okay, it's like that. And I'm just using the side of the brush, just like so. Just like that, get a little, little patchy stuff in there like this. Okay, getting some more of that green, yellow. Okay. We'll pop some in here like this. It's not bright enough, but we're going to get it bright enough. We'll get it bright enough. Get a little bit of white, pop it in there a little bit and kind of throw it in there like this. So we get some of that bright patches happening. There's a little more of the brightness, the patchiness over here down in this area, right up in here like that. We'll scumble some more in there. You're not looking for a perfect blend of anything, but just just some scrapey, patchy stuff. Get that hair out of there. Just like that. Just to get a little bit of white. Go back over here to this white. A little touch of yellow, get a little bit of yellow. And get some more white in there like that. I didn't entirely take away all the green off my brush on purpose side of the brush once more um, and much like you build up the clouds you're just building intensity of the lighter color get a chunk of it like that and you kind of wear away the wear away the um, the corners there a little patchy here and there a little bit right in here as you get closer toward the bottom, you know, it gets a little wider or whatever. You can kind of play with it like that. Okay. Um, you got a little, little bit of a, a little bit of a patch right in there. I'm just getting some more of that bright. I'm just going to wipe off a few right there. Come on in here a little bit. Number two. Okay, so we're just like I say, adding in patches of lightness here. Side brush doesn't keep it as perfect. Okay, just use the side of the brush, getting in light patches here and there. All right, and we'll start adding little grass like textures to this too. Okay, all right, leave it just like that. We're going to um, 
start building in textures of light grass, dark grass, then we'll go with the uh, the purple stuff. And we will call this painting done, call it a day, and let it be all she wrote. All right, okay. Put this brush away, we're gonna move on to our friendly fan brush. You don't necessarily have to use a fan brush, but a fan brush is um, commonly used in making those textures. Okay, I think we are somewhat close enough. We'll put it right here. We'll kind of give it a little zoom here. Uh, I think we're somewhat good. I think that covers most of the painting there. All right, let's throw in a little bit of uh, focus. All right, we'll start. Um, getting in a little bit of blue we'll put it we'll put it right in here so we got a little bit of blue pop in some yellow deeper green here okay now if you got a lot of uh, a large enough um, palette now you can kind of test what your patch grass would look like by just tapping it there all right so let's go in here we're gonna just start adding in little patches of, of grass yeah, in just in pieces like that. All right, we'll do it around the edges here. Okay. You see how you can include all that other stuff in there? Now you're building automatic, not only topography, but you're building your land mass right here on the border. Okay. And you're just tapping a little bit away from the darker green. You see? And you can kind of corner in some of these. Okay, just like that. I'm just getting some more. You can use either the side of your brush or you can use the top part of your brush up to you. Okay, just like that in certain areas. Kind of. See that? Not, you know, not, you don't have to add um, too many of them. See this? Just like so. Oh, this is creative license here. I kind of like it a little darker toward the where we are closest to it. Just like so. Okay. Just like that. All right. Okay. We'll start getting a little bit of blue. Put it in here. Um. Maybe a slight bit of yellow. A little bit of, this a tiny bit of water loosen it up a bit. Uh, maybe a little white, I'll lighten it up a little, just a, a slight tad. Now I'm just gonna take this right around in here, around the edges, and I'm just give it a quick flick up a little bit. Get some tall standing grass, just a little. Okay, just around the edges here. Just around where you see those patches there. Just up around there. Remember, you're gonna get a lot of long purple weeds going in around in here, so just a little bit in here. Just like that. Not too much, not too much. I don't have to have it really ultra bright or anything. The purple will take care of all of that when we get to the um, the purple stuff. And we're gonna use the same uh, fan brush for the purple. Let's go into our red. We'll put the red right here. Go into the rest of our blue, just like that, make a nice purple. Get a little bit of white. See that? See this? This is what we're looking for, that nice little deep purple there. All right, I'm gonna use the side of the brush, just like that. And we're gonna get these flowers going. Ready? We'll start right from the purple patch there. And this is all I'm doing straight up and down pop it right in there we'll get them lighter and we'll get them darker right up on the edge there just like that put them right in there we're gonna get some darker versions of this going on but they're kind of tightly packed in there so we're gonna kind of play around with it 
there like that. We're going to get some lighter ones in there, some darker ones, but I'm going to get them fairly tightly knit in there. This is our, um, our rough haired, natural haired um, fan brush, so it can kind of take a little bit of punishment there. I'm turning my brush around, I got more paint on the other side. Just like that. We're going to lighten some, we're going to darken some. softly blend some of those out like that on the bottom on the bottom oh, just on the bottom there just like that like I said creative license we're gonna darken some lighten some okay get a little bit of more a little bit of blue a little bit of red just like that then we're gonna we're gonna darken in a few patches in there just like that put them in there put them in in groups in groupings just like that come on up in here a little bit around in the edge keep that kind of lean um, look to them like they're kind of sprouting up there now since I'm so close to the end of the painting we'll put some lighter ones in there too but it's kind of fill it up with uh, some of the some of this dark in there. All right, let's get a little bit of white. Got the white to kind of bring this bring this uh, purple out a little, and we'll get some cute little. Well, right up in here, we'll get some cute little highlighty things in here, just like this. Look. Just around the, where the edge of the sun is there. See that? And maybe a little bit here on the top. Bring some down, make some a little taller. Just like that, but really up here. Something like that. I could even add little bits of yellow in there if I wanted to. That would look pretty cool. Okay. But that would be once again creative license for me to do that. If I wanted to add a little you know, bit of yellow to uh, add some uh, little speckles of sun hitting it here and there. So I'll do a little bit of that. We're 98% finished with this guy. Now I don't have a um, canvas or I'll um, frame large enough for this. Let's, let's pop in a few of those right up in here. Just a little bit of, little bit of brightness in here. Like that. See that? And maybe pop in a lot of those up around in here a little bit, have some come down. So it's really up to you to add these. I'm just, once again, doing a little creative licensing thing here. All right. Um, we'll and we'll pop in a couple right up in here in the edge there. Maybe I'll stray one back here somewhere. All right, but really up top here in the, in the center where that sunlight that you know is hitting there. Like that. All right. Okay. All okay. right, guys. Well, there we go. Um, I can probably, if desired, brighten this up even more so that your eye truly um, goes to that. And that would just make a, it, it would be just a simple little thing to do if I wanted to um, do somewhat uh, do right. it in that Ooh. fashion. There you have it, guys. Um, once again, I will have this picture probably shown right next to it. It's my interpretation of it. Okay. Um, I hope you liked uh, how I went about it, how you can get all that action and interplay in there. It's not as tough as you would think. It looks more complicated than it actually is. Uh, spent a lot of time on the clouds. Okay. More or less realistic clouds. S setting sun 
and that's what you're look, you're looking at here. Not entirely super dark storm clouds, or it's just a natural natural day. And you know what I've added with the blue, or with the yellow, not to have it turn green when you got it interacting with that blue. Just a little bit of brown. We'll take care of that little white little brown. Okay. Um, not not a heavy handed shine on the on the water here. Okay. Um, like I said, you could do actually the same thing with a palette knife or a small knife. Um, but you can see the value there with the, the hill. Okay. Um, the green grass, it kind of jetties out here. And then it's got the, the smaller strip there. You got the water. Got a shine right here. And then, you know, the purple um, kind of flowery things here. And then you got the darker grass, which comes into the lighter grass. All right, so it looks like natural, regular grass. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. If you like, subscribe. If you don't like, tell everybody, as a buddy of mine would say. Until next time, peace.